Well, hi there. Once again, you're back here with old Barry and DR. And uh, come on along with me for a ride here as I continue uh, on with uh, my normal day. And uh, I have to uh, run out. Uh, I'm about 10 minutes away from the house here. So I thought it'd be nice, as I pointed out, we're going to be leaving the mundane already about the COVID, about the political situations and the unrest and... My God, that can be a trap if you allow it to be. But um, if people do not catch on to this by now, they're not going to. And you have to really make your own plans and what's right for you. And by coming along with me, I'm certainly not suggesting that our way of living is right for anybody else because that's a subjective answer to anybody. But uh, it is right for some, it isn't for others. But what I want to do is point out the importance of what I've stated many times before, and that is to ask the correct questions, and one of which is not will I be affected, but rather to what degree will I be affected. Uh, I've spliced in some pictures of our neighbors and our friends here out in the country, and as you ride along with me, um, I want to point out that it's gotten to a point where people are not thinking rationally because they're so stuck in fear by what the media is portraying by a pandemic, which is anything but as deadly as what they're portraying. And uh, I, I love that statement about uh, most people aren't aware of it. Naturally, they wouldn't be. It's not the kind of research they do, but the mentors do that type of apophatic peel the onion research. And it is a fact that what started capitalism of all things was the bubonic plague with a 40% death percentage, death ratio of those that were inflicted by it. What it did was for the first time, what was until that epidemic was serfdom where you were told what you will work for, what you will receive. You had no, no horse in the race, so to speak, to negotiate. Well, because the death rate was so extremely high, there was an extreme shortage of labor. For the first time, the people that were the laborers, the serfs, as they called them in that day, were able to negotiate their own contracts and say, no, I'm not working for those wages. I'll work for this. Welcome to capitalism. As hard as it is for most of you viewing this to understand or grasp that concept, that's exactly how it was. And even to the point where there's so many, even children's rhymes come from those type of epidemics in those hard times. Uh, for example, Ring Around the Rosie, that children's song, that comes from also the bubonic plague because it was a rose-colored ring that started to uh, affect your skin. Those were the first signs of it. So as the child's rhyme goes, Ring Around the Rosie, a pocket full of posies. They thought carrying around a certain flower was how you prevented it. And when they say, ashes, ashes, we all fall down, that was so they were burning the bodies that were affected by the bubonic plague, okay? Instead of burying, they were burning. So if you do your research and you go back in history, you learn to really understand it's not so much what you think is correct, once you start discovering these things, whether it's in science, religion, in anything you want to believe in, because belief does not mean truth. Belief means something or a concept or an idea that you're in love with, you like very much. Anyway, it's past the time as uh, we're just scouting through, we're going to be going through, as you're watching this video, uh, four little farm towns. One is uh, Puso Onda, which in English means deep wells. So the people uh, that have water wells there had to drill a little bit deeper to get to the aquifer, uh, aquifer water. 
We're going to also go through a nice little town. These are all farm towns, uh, La Capilla. We're also going to go through another one called 2020 here in Spanish, Vente Vente. And the final one, which is uh, where Leanne and I will be settling in the not-too-distant future, the far uh, aspects of La Calle Juan. And um, it's amazing when I say sustainability. Most of the people that we see in the country, now if you go into Cabrera, which is you know our small little town, sure, more people wear masks. Uh, the Westerners are panicked beyond comparison. Well, <laughs> what else is new in that aspect? Like I also say, when I, you could choose to be stressed in any location you want to be. Just as equally important to understand. Watch what you're seeing all around the world now. Understand that your cells will react to the environment that you've placed them in. So you place them in a volatile environment, they're going to react that way, you're going to be more that way. You're gonna place them in a more peaceful setting where food is growing all around you and people are not panicked at all, your cells will also react to that environment. That goes a long way to answering the countless emails I get about why do you always sound so darn calm that's because we are that way okay it's going to affect us far less and anybody else that's in these type of regions it is our studying that reveals many developing nations okay no longer the term third world is acceptable it's developing nations and many of them are going to withstand, survive, and adapt much better than many of the first world nations. And I will just use America, Australia, all of Europe as examples. Just take a look what's happening there. Take a look what's happening in many developing nations. Not all of them. Remember, go away from thinking about a hundred percent right a hundred percent wrong it's always varying shades of gray okay so as you're just looking at a bunch of our neighbors that we know well and get along this is our region this is what's outside my house where i do a lot of the videos from and as i said we're going to be leaving the mundane if uh, people no matter how much you love them or no matter how much you care I think one of the most popular questions I receive is how do I get them to see this and you can't and that's part of humanity that's part of our DNA but when a mind is stuck in fear and propaganda it shuts off certain levels of the brain particularly in the frontal lobe the neocortex area that allows for higher rational thought because the brain shuts off and goes into what's called a fight or flight mode simply survival and that's often not the correct decisions to be thinking that way it's more of a reactive decision rather than a proactive decision but be it as it may one of my my mentors in a personal level said and uh, that is you can't get sick enough to heal one individual on this planet. We have limitations as human beings, but again, you can't help anybody before helping yourself. I'm certainly not saying relocation's right for everyone. I'm not saying it's right for anyone. I'm not saying even doing nothing is a decision if that's what you decide. But stop thinking about how you're gonna prevent this. It's long past that stage and start thinking about how am I gonna get out on the other side what is it going to look like for me and my loved ones okay and people ask me has it changed a lot in your region well yeah it has because uh, for example 90 percent of what we've been driving on just a few years ago would have been rock road or mud road i would have needed my four by four okay now i'm just in the old honda pilot there a two-wheel drive vehicle with no problem at all so yes, things change again, but it depends to what degree. All you've seen is food growing in this entire video. This is what our region is about. And I'd like to close in saying 
no matter if you're on the right side, the left side, just take a look at who's initiating all of the violence and you'll find it's been the same side that's been doing it all through history, which is the left, regardless of your personal stance. Facts don't physically attack people. Facts don't destroy cities. Facts don't insult, although far too often they're taken in that context. Facts are facts, period. Hope you enjoyed this little ride with me while you're in the passenger seat. Until next time, it's old Barry and DR, but we'll be doing and moving along a lot more on this subject and seizing up on the mundane. Till next time.